Hello guys and welcome back to our episode 5 of the FPS Valorant tutorial series in Unity. Um, and this is my first video that I'm recording in like a month. Um, so <laughs> if I miss some stuff or like I'm not as fast as I used to be, that is why. Um, but in the last episode what I believe we did is that we made all of these variables here inside of our gun scripts. And what these allow us to do is, basically, this will store all of the data about our gun. Now, if we shoot, you can see that our current bullet count just goes down. We can reload, and, um, you know, bullets will be subtracted from our total bullets. And, uh, yeah, so that pretty much just gives our game a little more detail. Um, especially since Valorant has, you know, limited bullet count. Um, and so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making the UI that goes along with all the data to display to the user, um, you know, how much bullets you have left and how, um, you know, how many bullets you have left in your clip. Um, because obviously the user can't look at this when they're in the game. They can't look at the script. So yeah, so with that said, let's get started creating the UI. Um, now what we're going to be needing to do is we're just gonna right click inside the hierarchy, click on UI, and we're just gonna create, um, let's just create a slider for now. Uh, sorry, not slider, um, my bad, I was thinking of something else. Let's create, um, let's create a text. So I'm gonna make a text mesh pro, um, which is basically just a crisper version of normal text. We're gonna import all the TMP essentials, we'll import the extras as well. Let's give it a second to load. And then let's go into our text after this finishes loading. Okay, yeah, so there we go. There it is, it's done loading. So I'm just gonna double click on this and we'll be right on our TMP Pro. Um, so what we're going to do is, this is going to display the amount of bullets that we have left. So I'm just going to center this text and auto size it. And then I'm going to make this something random, like... Actually, I'm not going to make, make it something random. Um, so our max clip on our M1911 is just 12, so I'm just going to make it like, let's say 12 out of 12. And we can change the name of this text to be bullet info. And that will basically store the bullet info. Um, and the number on the right is the amount of bullets we'll have left and the number on the left is basically just going to be the amount of bullets we have left in their clip. And then we can duplicate this text and we can move it up a bit and auto size, it's already auto sized. Um, we can actually scale this down a bit and then let's right align this and we can make this the name of our gun. Um, so we can call this uh, gun info. And like, say we equip the classic, then I'll just say classic. Um, I actually haven't played Valorant in like three months, so I, I, I forgot what Valorant UI actually looks like. Let me actually just search that up real quick. Okay, cool. So what Valorant has is that they have actually um, images um, on the right side. Uh, so for bullet info, it would just be, there's like a little bar with all your abilities and stuff on the bottom. Um, like in this area and then over here there's like two guns with images and then the names how we're gonna do it is we're just gonna do it this way I'm actually also gonna right align this bullet thing um, the bullet info because it looks weird um, but we're just I'm, we're just gonna make it very simple like this if you guys want you guys can change the UI um, to your um, desire and I, I'm just gonna right click here again and then I'm just gonna insert um, I'm just gonna insert a raw image and basically this will be um, what our image for our gun will, uh, where th this will be the stand-in for um, the image for our weapon. Um, and actually, before we do anything further, we actually need to import the weapons image pack. So I believe it is in my package manager already. Um, so I'm just gonna sign in. Okay, so there we go. I just logged in. I'm just going to find it. I think it's called gun icon or FPS icon. Yeah, there we go. FPS icons pack. So we're just going to download this. I'll link to it in the description below. And then let's just import this into our project. So import. 
just give it a second to load here. Okay, there we go. And then what we can do is we can go into our icons pack and um, select the theme you'd like. I prefer, um, in my opinion, the light theme, which is just all white icons. Um, but you guys can choose a dark theme or the dark gray theme, depending on how you like it. Um, but as a stand-in, we're just going to go into our image, um, which is right here. And then we can give it an image. So we're just going to come here. And the classic is obviously a handgun, so the image would just be something like this. Oh, I guess it can't be a raw image, it needs to be an image. Um, so I'm just going to create a UI image. Yep, so this will fit here. Um, we'll set it as native size and then scale it down a bit. So make it like 0.2 by 0.2 by 0.2. Oops. Yeah, uh, that's still a bit too big, so let's try 0.1. I think that's a bit better. Uh, 0.15 might be better, actually. Um, let's try 0.15. Yep, that definitely looks better. Yeah, so now we have our gun image inside of our game. And if I can actually just flip this uh, image um, so we can set the rotation to be just 180. There we go, that looks a lot better. Um, it um kind of looks like the Valorant thing. Um, I'm pretty sure Valorant UI is like has a green tint though um, instead of white, but yeah. Um, now when we press play, you can see that all of our UI that we just made is on the right side and it displays all of the info, although it is static and it doesn't really change yet. But we're going to change that right now. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go into our gun scripts and then we're going to change a few things to make it compatible with our UI that we just created. So let's wait for Visual Studios to load. Okay, there we go. Gun script is created. And then what we're going to do is let's go into our... Um, first, actually, let's just create a couple variables. So the first vari variable, actually, we're, we actually have to import a library. So we're going to have to use TM Pro before we do our, anything because that's a library that controls um, uh, the TextMesh Pro. And without that, we can't access what we're, ac we're about to access, which is the TextMesh Pro UGUI. And we can call this like bullets info and then another text mesh pro UGUI um, for our gun info. And then maybe we can create another image variable. Oh, um, and obviously for this, well, not obviously, but like for this, we would need to use Unity Engine.UI. Um, in order for image to appear as an option here. So there we go. We can call this gun image. Actually, it shouldn't even be an image. It should just be a sprite. Um, because we're not going to be changing the image. We're just going to be... Actually, sorry. We would need an image, um, but we would also need a sprite. So we can just say public sprite uh, gun icon. And what we can do here is upon having the weapon selected, which we will check for in the future. What we can he do here is just make um, a new function um, that will not get called um, automatically by itself. So we can just add it at void start. Um, and in the future, we'll just make this function be called when we like scroll and like select the weapon. Um, but essentially what this will do is this will set our um, First of all, we need to set the bullet info. So bullet info will just be equal to our um, current clip. Uh, if I can, yeah, so current bullet out of our total bullets. Yeah, so cool. Um, actually, sorry, it should not be divided by, it should be, there should be quotation marks around this. 
and then we can add some plus signs to interpolate the string. Um, and I guess, sorry, we can't set the text to be like that, but we can set. Uh, sorry, we can't set the set the the the, the uh, game object to be like that, but we can set the text component to be like a string. Um, and we can actually make some spaces around here so it looks neater. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the gun info text to be equal to the name of the gun, which should be stored in a string here somewhere. Um, let's make a new string. We can call this public string uh, gun name. And we'll just set that to be the gun name. And then we're just going to set our, um, what do we call it? Gun image to be equal to the gun icon, the proper gun icon. This way, um, it's dynamic so that, sorry, we need to set the sprite of it to be the gun icon. This way it's dynamic so that um, whenever we do switch a weapon, all the info will get updated. Now what we're going to want to do is that we're going to want to make it so that every time we reload our or reload sorry or um, shoot our UI recognizes that. So wherever we update the UI, let's see, or sorry, update the data, let me find it. Um, okay, yeah, so wait, sorry. Yeah, right here. So right here, we can create a new function called so public void. We can make a new function called update UI. And essentially what this will do is we can just copy this line here. It'll just update um, how much bullets we have left. And we'll just ca call update UI every time we change the current bullet amount or the total bullet amount, which is only done here, here, Um, so yeah, so now if we go back into Unity, everything should work. Um, if we go into our classic and set all of our parameters here, um, so bullet info would just be um, the bullet info, and then gun info would be here, gun image would be here, and then the icon would be um, light theme. Let's make it a different hand, uh, handgun, and just so we can see the difference um, when we load into the game. And now if we press play, you can see that it automatically changed the different sprite and it'll say 12 out of 36. And whenever we do shoot, um, it goes the number on the uh, left goes down. And if we're out of bullets, it won't go down anymore, it'll be stuck at zero. If we reload, it'll be loaded again and the numbers will be subtracted for our um, current bullet or all of from the amount that stores all of our bullets and then we can shoot again that was a bit weird it kind of reloaded twice there um, I think we started two animation loops which is why I reloaded twice because I spammed the reload button yeah you can see there that that happened um, and for some reason all of our bullets got consumed um, but no worries <laughs> we'll, um, I'll probably find out why those bugs are happening off camera um, but for now, that's pretty much it for this episode. Um, thank you guys for watching. I know it was kind of short. Um, but in the next episode, we will be making our first abilities. Um, and the first agent we're going to be making is Brimstone. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, I know it's going to be exciting. Um, and I'll definitely make the video gap a lot shorter this time. Um, I've just been kind of busy with stuff lately. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. I'll see you next time. Bye.